What, what might you use them for? No, I reposted a video today and that I did a, a, I just did a binding spell on with a piece of my hair and a piece of string and I had the seven points on there each represented something different that I was tying up. It's hanging in the tree outside. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's very, very that's very general, but yeah. No, exactly. This is a really good time for people to also redo um, any kind of protection spells or protection bags, things like that at this time, because this is the darkest time of the year as we're, we're approaching it. So if this is a good time for you, if you've been feeling any negativity or any kind of difficulty, this is a really good time for you to create a nice protection bag of herbs and thorns and, and, to gather, and to gather those items that you can use throughout the winter to get you through this dark part of it that's the right heavy protection yeah. yeah and this is this is a really good time i always find that the uh, the dark time is the best time to learn and the best time to write and the best time to um dream and those things yeah, so my i'd like to show, show you this i have my familiars and not all of your animals are familiars, by the way, but these two are my familiars. That's Merlin. Rocky, and there's Rocky. Merlin and Rocky, they're both my familiars. And whenever I'm doing any kind of um, work, they always like to come, all of the, all the time. Yeah, I want to be right out there when we're doing it. I know, it's great. Yeah. So yeah, this is a this is a good time for um, redoing your protection. It's also a good time to have fires, um, like campfires or or sacred fires, and to burn things that um, have done the work all year round. This is a time for me to have. I'll have a nice big fire, and I'll put any th any kind of herbal bundle that I've had, let's say, placed above a door um, that has been used to keep um, negative energy from coming at me, I will switch it out and I'll burn it and I'll put a new one out yeah. at this yeah. year. And that's a great way when people ask are asking the question what we do with our spell work. What we're doing here is a complete recycle. It's gathered, it's used, and then mm -hmm. it's recycled back to ash or smoke or back to the earth. I'm, I'm going to assume you dump your fire ashes out. Right? I actually collect my ashes in a uh, yeah. I collect it in a metal I'll show you yeah. see down there under my chair yeah I see, see you that? save your ashes yeah I save all my ashes and when I make so black salt them. I may use it for black salt um, yeah. and if I if I have too much ash then I'll just put it back to the to the earth but I do I always collect it because I burn yeah, I, I burn a lot of sage I burn I think sage. That helps the new practitioners a lot because they don't even know where to begin with that. Like to bring something in, give thanks for what has been given. Matter of fact, ask the plant for what you want or what you're looking for, and it will direct you, maybe direct you to something else as well. And then we incorporate these things little by little and keep notes on that. And then after you're using them, you know, I'm not into burying bottles or non biodegradable things. So we turn to the earth throw it in running water or burn yeah. it in a fire is your is it is like finishing off or cleansing or the you're finishing closing out that magic and starting a new one it's, and that's this year this time of the year because this is in my opinion yeah. this is the end and so you want 